Wow, happy, happy Thursday. It's a nice 70 degree weather day here in Austin, Texas. Very pleasant. Sun is shining. There's no ice on the ground, which is awesome. But I can't talk about Austin politics. Austin politics really frustrates me right now. But something else that also frustrates me is the topic that I'm going to be talking about today. It's a about New Jersey. Now, I'm pretty sure that there's no connection between the two, but New Jersey council member is fatally shot one week after the slaying of another lawmaker. Authorities have not made any connections between the slayings of Russell Heller and Eunice Dumperfor. Heller was found dead outside of his Wednesday, oh, outside his job, Wednesday, the Summers County Prosecutor Office said. New Jersey member was shot or fatally shot in the parking lot outside of his job Wednesday, one week after another politician in state was gunned down in her car. Russell Heller, 51, Republican representative of the Milford area, was found dead just after 7 a.m. in the parking lot. A PSENG, the energy company where he worked, and the Somerset County Prosecutor Officer said. Authorities quickly determined that the former employee of the PSE identified as Gary T. Curtis, 58, of Washington had approached Heller in the parking lot and shot him outside of his vehicle, prosecutors said. And why is this not front page news? Why is this not front page news? I actually had to search for it. Now, watch is going to make me a liar, but that's all right. Let's see here. Nope, it's all about angry senators. What does Biden insult a lot of luck in your senior means? Um, let's see here. Blah, 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 blah. Alex Bowen faces new lawsuit. Well, good. Good on him. Good on him. Let's see here. See guns, guns seized from fluting teacher who police said he has tens of thousands of rounds of ammo. That's actually uh, not a lot. I think I got about 20 or 30 thousand rounds of ammunition between all my weapons and different rounds. So that's not really a whole lot. I mean, that's probably about if he's an active shooter. Going to the range, probably doing a couple hundred each time. It's probably about maybe six months, eight months. Um, it's really hard to say. But anyways, back to my 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 complaint, my rant. Not front page news. I actually had to search for this, as you saw before. As you saw before, let's hear go back. I actually had to search second. Pretty sure I spelled Republican wrong, but who cares? But yeah, I mean, I literally had to search for it in order for me to get a story, which is which is a shame. Let's see here. Detectives were able to track down Curtis down hours later into a parking lot in Bridgewater Township where they found him with a self-inflicted gunshot wound. <laughs> it said Curtis, who was in possession of the firearm at the time, was pronounced dead shortly after Detectives are still working to establish a motive in the incident. The prosecutor office said Heller's death comes a week after Immerse. I'm I can't pronounce that name. Inez Dumar for Dumar for a fellow Republican who has represented Sherryville was found fatally shot in her vehicle near her home. Police have yet identified suspect of the motive in her death. Certainly around 55 miles east of Milford. Authorities have not made any connection between the two incidents with the prosecutor office saying Heather's death appeared to be an isolated incident. We're hope heartbroken at the tragic death of Russell Heller. PSE and G said in a statement shared online, the company said Heller had worked as a senior Distribution supervisor and has been with the firm more than 11 years. Russell was 
admired employee, it said, will be sorely missed by all in our thoughts. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see, you're shocked, saddened by the tragic murder. But yes, I mean, someone's hunting. There's a probably a hit list on all Republicans in New Jersey. It's probably staunch Democrat with mix with sprinkles of Republicans. And it's a shame. I mean, sh I... It's a shame that uh, people part of a particular party, when they get killed, it's either celebrated or don't even make the national news. Actually, I want to see something. When was this written? This was written today. Let's see here. Chinese spy balloon carried multiple antennas for collecting signals. Anger grows in Turkey inside the small Ukrainian city. Hunter Biden. Borgs are taking over college parties and TikTok. What exactly are they? A uh, man who carried Confederate flag sentenced to three years. Let's see here. Rep Angie attacked in her D.C. apartment building. I bet she's a Republican. Hopefully, I'm mean, not hopefully, but let's see here. Video depicting the racist stereotypes prompted for demands for Colorado councilman to resign. You know, there's a few representatives I want to resign for the same reason. Let's see here. Most read. Netflix confirmed it will start charging users to share an account with others outside their home. Yeah, well, you know, all things must come to an end. But yeah, I mean, there's nothing about this. There's nothing about this story about the New Jersey councilman. There's nothing about this. On that front page, front page of the NBC News. Oh, Minnesota Democratic office said that she was not seriously injured and there was no evidence that the attack was politically motivated. See, this was on the front page. This was on the front page. Rep. Angie Craig, Democrat from Minnesota, was attacked Thursday morning on the elevator in her Washington, D.C. apartment. Her office said in a statement, Rep. Craig defended herself from the attacker and suffered bruising, but otherwise physically okay. Chief Steph, Nicole, and Co. said the assailant then fled and there is no evidence that the attack was politically motivated as of yet. Pretty sure that's going to be Pretty sure someone can spin this and saying that it's Maggot's fault, it's Trump's fault for spreading this rhetoric. He entered the elevator and then began doing push-ups before punching her in the chin, grabbed her in her neck. Police said, according to the police report, she told the police that she threw her cup at hot, her cup of hot coffee at him, which after he escaped, report said the man punched her in the chin area in her face and later grabbed her neck. Greg tossed her hot coffee at the man, but he escaped before police arrived. In a statement later, the U.S. Capitol Police said that also investigating the attack, but there's no indication that the Congresswoman was targeted because of her position. Uh, Poppy's just some, some douche that gets off assaulting women. Elected in 2018, Greg is the first openly LGBTQ member of Congress from Minnesota. Minnesota, a eh? members of Congress experienced an increase of threat and violence after January 6. Oh, here it goes. Members of Congress experienced an increase in threats of violence after the January 6, 2021 attack on the Capitol, leading lawmakers to plead with leadership for more funding and personal security. The number of threats investigated decreased last year, but that was an increase. That was an increase, but you're saying it's decreasing. But the U.S. Capitol Police Chief Tom Unger said in January, the rate is still too high. I mean, at least, why is this front page news? She's alive. This person's dead, unfortunately. This person is dead, unfortunately. Why is there no pictures of this dude?
Seriously, why is there no pictures of this dude? Oh, that's just a story. There's no pictures. Why is there no pictures? Let's see here. Does New York Post have pictures? I mean, they have the picture. Why doesn't the Peacock channel have the picture? Um, is that the person that killed him? Yep. I don't know. I mean, it's kind of fishy and it's kind of biased. Or maybe I'm just a cynic. Anyways, that is my video for the day. Uh, it's frustrating because I would like none of this to happen. I don't want any Republican or Democrat that's in office attacked. It's uncalled for. But unfortunately, we're in times where one party seems to get a pass and gets on front page every time they get assaulted. Just look at um, Nancy Pelosi's husband's story. That gets plastered all over the place. I literally had to search for, for unfortunately, this person, Mr. Mr. Russell. I had to go search for Russell to find out the story. Russell Heller. Hopefully, hopefully we can find some peace and some middle ground, but I don't see it happening, but I'm hoping. But with that being said, that is my video. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are. But more importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning or evening.